Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas. I'm just kidding. New York Fashion Week vlog day two. I was gonna say Vlogmas again. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do a little OOTD, but I'm gonna go and show you guys on the body mirror and not try to just do it like that this way. But look at Spencer. Look at how good he looks. Oh, I love your little outfit. So sorry about the lighting is a little bit harsh, but I'm wearing this oversized sweater, leggings, and my thigh-high boots. And also I put on my Tiffany necklace and I need to put on my earrings, but that's pretty much it. And we have to get going. All right, so this is my friend Cam. She's just so cute. I love her little outfit. Love the Gucci bag. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> Look at this cute wall. And Tanya's getting her picture taken. Look at you. We just got seated. My plus one is over here. And um, they have these cute little name tags for us and clear, really cute gold plates. Basically everyone is just mingling, getting their photos taken at that cute wall over there. Okay, this thing keeps like writing back and I don't know why. We're just sitting here and I think we're just gonna have breakfast. The host for today at Old Hill Daisy Tiny I look forward to seeing all of you are actually the next one in charge of my own vlog back to the vlog. I make the transition from motorsports to fashion. I don't think I updated the vlog on like what's going on and if I did I'll just cut this part out. But uh, basically we're just staying at the hotel today and having panels and everything. There are some of the industry people back there. They have like this big panel thing and then we are at these little tables. I think you guys probably already have seen that. But we're gonna grab breakfast and it's over there. It's just pretty cool to like meet people from all over the vlog and do Instagram and it's just kind of surreal. So thank you above time for this opportunity. We're gonna put this in your wardrobe and the husband was happy. She's getting all these compliments at work and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, can you shop for me <laughs> all the time? Because you know, she got all those compliments. So. Do you have kind of like a tip? Because I know me personally, there's certain things that I won't wear. <laughs> But fashion kind of opens up that to be like, okay, you know, I might try this today. Do you kind of have a tip for all of us that, you know, how do I step outside of my element but still remain myself? Do you kind of have like a, a quick quirky tip, you know, as we try to branch out? I really don't have a quirky tip. I just think that people, again, change their mindset. Fashion is not supposed to be standard, so have a little fun. There was a point in time where I just did a lot of solids. I was an attorney, so there's a lot of black, neutrals, grays, very boring. And um, I just started to push myself a little by little. If I wanted to try print, maybe I did a head wrap. Something I'll learn, like while camping, or something I'll learn doing something else, I can use it within my photography to improvise and adapt. So it, you know, don't limit yourself to just doing one thing. Full-time professional, about eight years, but when I moved back from to LA from New York, that was in 2000, so I started doing it part-time at that point, because I was still doing, a, I was a web designer, you know, trying to get like a real job. Um, so I would do it on the side, and then around 2010, um, I took off to Europe, well, I got, I got divorced and I had to get away, so I took off to Europe for three months. <laughs> I didn't want to stick around LA, I didn't want Fair. to run into her. Uh, <laughs> um, so I took off to, to, to Europe and uh, that's when I decided, like, I gotta start pursuing what I really want. And that's when everything started. Like, once I started pursuing my line, started pursuing my passion, that's when everything started popping. You know, so about full-time professional about nine years now. Okay, so we made a quick stop back to the room and we took a few pictures and video clips for the travel diary, like jumping on the bed and stuff, so that was pretty fun. Um, it is about one o'clock now, so we're gonna go down for lunch. And it's gonna be super good. Okay, so for lunch, we are having some bread and salad. All right, so this is Carly. Hi. Follow her on Instagram, I'll put it down below. And follow Rachel. They have the cutest pictures. Oh my gosh. No, that'll be good for thumbs because like I'm gonna probably put like new, new friends in New York City like vlogging or whatever I don't know I don't know the title of this but you're chewing I'm sorry Karen this the Karen style the Karen style I love how I remember your Instagram username not your actual like username. yeah I know it's just like calling people the username thanks girls okay guys so we are out of our panel sessions they were super fun and now we're going to explore we're going to the Brooklyn Bridge and this is my first uber ever so thanks Spencer for getting me on an uber I'm so excited to see the Brooklyn Bridge it's gonna be super fun always wanted to go here it's like the most Instagrammable place there's the uber sign <laughs> 
little place was kind of tricky. We're underground and we had to ask the person like how to get here, but we found it and cannot wait to show you guys and take a picture. I'm feeling weak, but we're strong people. We can do this. Oh my goodness, it's right there. How cool is this? Okay, so as you guys can see, the Brooklyn Bridge is right there. And to be honest, we didn't expect so many people to be here. This is almost like trying to get a picture in front of the castle at Magic Kingdom, man. Like there's everyone. So I don't know how this is gonna play out, but hopefully we'll get a really good picture. Look at how gorgeous, guys. Look at how gorgeous. Spencer is filming me right now for the travel diary. I just wanted to get like a couple clips here. So he's just been filming a little bit. I was a crazy Instagram girlfriend and I was like controlling and stuff. So if Spencer watches this, shout out to you because I'm just really controlling because I have a vision and stuff. So it gets kind of hard and I kind of snap, but you know, it all turns out well in the end. I hope you guys have been enjoying my post. If you aren't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Our Brooklyn Bridge experience has been pretty good and I hope that you guys have been enjoying the videos. Later tonight, we're going to Times Square with my cousin and aunt. I have no idea what we're actually doing, but um, I think that's what we're gonna do. So after this, we're going to meet up with my aunt because my cousin gets done around 6.30. All right, we made it to my aunt. She does not live in Florida, obviously. You guys know Florida, New York. She doesn't live in New York obviously yeah. but we met up in New York because her daughter Francie my cousin is walking in a fashion show so we just decided to have a little mini family reunion all right Francie oh, has finally made it <laughs> and we're going to eat now I just wanted to throw her in the vlog so I got some chicken wings with celery and fries and Spencer over here got the rock it's just a burger with fries Wendy over here got some soup and Francie over here got another chicken burger and fries. Crispy chicken, I'm sorry. Okay, so we are on our way to Times Square. Woohoo, Spencer's first Yay. time. And we're in an Uber on our way to Times Square. To Times Square. <laughs> Can't wait to edit this later tonight. Spencer, here we are. Times Square. Francie, we're here. Oh my gosh. I know, like, can we just, let's just take it in, guys. Let's take it in. Oh, beautiful. One thing that Wendy said to not do is not let any of these people, like, take your phone or device and take a picture, like, these people, because they'll want, like, a tip and everything. Oh, there's the elbow again. Oh. <laughs> totally keeping that in. <laughs> but I know Francie wants a new picture for her profile picture. Just look at how beautiful this is, guys. Like, take right it there. in. Look, there's the ball. Karma. Too bad we're just a little late on the ball drop, but you know, we can see where it happens. Bubba Gump, we have one of those. This is so far you would be if you came to see it. Yeah, so true. Oh my gosh. Look, Francie and Rila Kumas, like, favorite thing ever. Spencer and Rila Kumas, favorite thing ever. Oh my gosh. Guys, I love Rulakuma so much. I had to come in the store. I think Manda31409 would love this store. I was saying that this would not be in New York if there was no trash, so the New York trash is amazing. Oh, here's the wind again. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, so Francie wants to get a picture in front of this. It is the Harry Potter theater, and Francie wants her picture in front of it. Oh, you just wanted a picture of it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Behind the scenes of Francie's photo. I know. <laughs> we'll go on the other side, girl. We have finally made it. We finally found the Hershey's store. It's pretty big, so I don't know how we really missed it. We got dropped off past it, so I think that's why we missed it. But I'm so excited. I love the store so much. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's nice and warm, too. This is such a big store of just Hershey's chocolates. We just got our free samples, which is awesome. It's like trick-or-treating, as Wendy just said. Oh my gosh. Well, this caught our eyes. I want the big Reese's. Oh, that looks so good. I would totally split it with someone if anyone wanted to share with me. Look at how cute the s'mores little camper. It's like a little camper. Thank you, Wendy. I was chewing there. Outside and there are roasting marshmallows. There's a whole Reese's section. I remember I got something from the Reese's section. Mm -hmm. I love Reese's and apparently Francie does too. All right, so we made a stop into the M&M store. As you guys can see, finding a bathroom for the blanket ship over here. Cousin and boyfriend are talking. Yep. Yeah. 
about you? Oh, great. <laughs> green m and &M. Yes. Yeah, it's a green one. Statue of Liberty. It's a girl. Sure, okay, Francie's profile picture. Bam! Yeah, there you go. So where was your profile picture? Oh, the m and m store! <laughs> The lighting was bomb. It's crazy. There's three floors of m and themed things. That's a tongue twister. Okay, so I think soon we're gonna head back out to Times Square and take some photos and video clips. Francie wants a new profile picture, like a legit one. A legit, a legit one, not in the m and store. But that's what we're gonna focus on right now. We got some really good pictures of Francie and me and then individually, so I think we're set on the Times Square photos and some video. I wanna get some more of Spencer and stuff because I want him in the travel diary. Okay, so we are in Forever 21 on Times Square. Francie wanted to come see some of the clothes. Those are cute. We've come downstairs to look at some stuff. Whoa, we found a really big hat. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I I just want to try it on. I love big hats, but this one is just a little bit too big, I think. Oh my gosh. My gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at this. Wait, why is this side uneven? No, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's supposed to be like that. Oh, it's supposed to be like that. Is it always supposed to be like that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we just tried on these taco hats. That's crazy, man. Like, that's insane. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a, a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Sorry I cut Spencer off. Bye.